Greetings survivors, Fayot here and in this video I'm gonna explain how you can upgrade any one of your characters before entering a session. In sessions it's pretty self-explanatory how you upgrade your stats, you click down on the d-pad, it opens a menu and there by clicking accept on each one of the categories you spend one of the bottles you get into chests, the pinks bottles, and you get a node activated that increases the allocated stat, but that only stays until the end of the session. It's not something that carries over into the gameplay proper. Here I'm going to explain how to upgrade the various characters so they enter the games in a better state. So we're gonna go into collection and we're going to pick a character. Any one of the characters will do. Now on the top right you see my username, my account level and a huge number reading 54,018 that is our spirit points pool it's a very important part of this process so pay attention to it let's say i pick warrior ash okay here we are warrior ash you see a page of nodes and nothing is upgraded. On the very left we see his four progression nodes. Every character starts with two of them activated. He has Wiseman's Potion and Shield Blast and then at level 10 you get Finish Strong and at 25 you get Weapon Master Chainsaw. These are as they seem here they will stay the way you perceive them now unless you tinker with the character by investing spirit points how do you do that so as you can see here it says last word last hit of your combo causes increased damage there are lines on this menu and one ability leads to another so the second one is reinforced amulet then we get improved amulet then we get fear no evil at the end of this line we have season survivor elite and of course this whole thing just continues and is interlinked. To be able to progress from one node to the other, you have to invest at least one point in the previous node. So last word is the first node of the tree. You have to invest in it. If you want to go for enforced amulet, it stays, requires one more point on the skill tree, requires one point in previous skill. So we both have to have one point invested in total in the skill tree and one point invested in the adjacent skill. So we're gonna hold triangle that's gonna be Y on the Xbox and I think it's the vault button on PC, not really sure. So you hold this And this way you spend your spirit points and add skill points to your character's skill point pool at the bottom right. Okay, you hold it, you spend your spirit points that are on the top right and add to your skill points pool on the bottom right. This way you can amass spirit points by playing as any character but you can invest in any other character that you like. Of course you can also invest in the same character but this will help you grow the characters that you don't really enjoy playing. Now we have skill, 6 skill points to use so I'm gonna invest one here and last word and it says the last hit of your combo causes increased damage final hit damage right below it states that at level 1 you get 15% more than 35% than 50% now is this an ability you want to invest in that depends you will sometimes complete combos of four hits and sometimes you will not complete combos of four hits because you want to go for the finisher I'm not gonna to invest too much in this I'm gonna check reinforced amulet Incoming damage is reduced when you have a shield active. Sounds good. Alternatively, Artful Dodger reduces the stamina cost of dodging up to 35%. We can get Devastating Force increases melee weapon damage up to 15%. And then Tougher Than Hell reduces the amount of damage you receive up to 10%. Out of all this, okay, I say maybe your best bet is to go all in on Devastating Force and Devastating Force is very very good because it will give you 15% melee damage and that is flat. Okay, 
let's say we invest one point in devastating force we cannot yet go into cutting blows or seeing stars because it says that it requires two more points on the skill tree general okay so here we'll have two options cutting blows increase this memorable damage of melee weapons and here we have seeing stars increase the balance bar damage from your melee attacks this is very very important to be able to perform finishers but we need two more nodes active in order to do this so i put two more points here and now i can go into a third tier ability and invest in this one and because i want to get it out of the way i'm gonna invest some more spirit points i have three skill points now putting them in here finalize seeing stars now this is ready to be used one very important thing that you can notice on the bottom of the screen is the remove skill point i'll go back i will save my changes if i go back in i can still remove points so nothing is set in stone you can always remove points and reallocate them in the skill tree what you cannot do is cast your skill points back into spirit points so if you invest your spirit points into skill points for a specific character the skill points for that character will be available for reallocation but you cannot return them to their previous form of being spirit points so make sure you pick a character you like and start experimenting with the skill tree to have the best possible results investing in a character you like of course will make manageable but will make the game more manageable going into the sessions you don't start as weak as you did when you first created your account but you are getting in there better prepared your abilities will overall be more effective and your character will be performing better to demonstrate the removal of the skills, I'm just going to take everything out. Now the tree is blank as it was before. And let's say I want to go and put a point into improved amulet that increases the sh strength of my shields. I put one ability point here. I put one here. Again, I cannot proceed without getting two more points into the tree. I don't have to put them in these two. I might as well put them in Artful Dodger. And then we get access to the third tier and there it is my improved amulet i'm still leaning on two points i can put them wherever i want then it opens tier four and so on and so forth eventually you will get access to everything and you can relocate your points as you see fit of course Playing the game and grinding the game will give you a ton of spirit energy that you can invest into points that you can get then put into your character development in order to make them as powerful as possible remember spirit points can be allocated across all your characters to invest them into skill points but once you have invested them into skill points you cannot return them to their previous form of spirit points okay so hope this helps guys we had an excellent stream of Evil Dead yesterday. We're gonna stream it again tonight. We'll be streaming it two days a week for the foreseeable future. So sub, like, share, and hit the notification bell if you wanna stay posted and get notifications when we go live. If you like my work here and consider it worthwhile, consider getting a membership on the channel or visit my Patreon. It really helps a lot. Until next time, be well, stay frosty, and always strive for perfection. Geos.